Time to play with some clay. So, um, that's the reason. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and attach my base for the uh, armature to the board today. And I'm going to try to plot out how I'm going to do the rocks as well. Okay, I've been trying to figure out how I can do these rocks. I can do them by making a foam structure underneath the, the rocks, but uh, I think I want to do more of a clay structure and I'm going to see if I can't work this out somehow. And I'll do it by using the clay that I've cut up into, you know, little blocks. And the reason I want to do that is because the blocks can be cast and uh, I don't know, maybe barking up the wrong tree here, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. Oh, and I've raised his uh, knee up quite a bit. Always better to over-dramatize the angle of somebody. Again, this armature is, uh, you can purchase it from uh, Sculpture Depot in Loveland, Colorado. I've, and I've worked out the head measurements and uh, one, two, three, four heads. But what I did was I determined the head length for this figure and uh, to the pubic bone from the top of the head should be four heads. And that's what I have one, two, three, four heads. And uh, the bottom part of the head measurements right where the pubic bone would be. That's how you determine that. All right, I don't know where I, my camera stopped recording, but uh, I'm basically just building up the rock that he's going to be leaning on. There'll be a, you know, another part of the rock that's going to come up here. It's going to be a layered rock on top of this rock. And I'm doing it with uh, thin pieces of clay. And I'm going to shape it a little bit with a, a hot knife. I think my camera records for about 20 minutes and then stops. I'd set a timer, but I'd constantly be have my mind on the timer and on the camera, and uh, can't do that. Okay, I'm going to cut into the rock.
I gotta let this clay soften up a little bit because it's getting down to the cold clay and uh, it's gonna take a while for that to soften up. So I'll be back in a little while. All right, while I was uh, waiting for the uh, clay to soften up, I was in my bedroom doing a little research on my computer of the rock formations in Montana. Because this is a Northern Cheyenne warrior, and uh, I went through and did a little research on the rock formations found around Montana to try to get some idea of how to structure the, the rocks that I'm going to be doing here. If you're doing a sculpture of a particular region of the United States in the West, uh, it's always good to figure out the rock formations if you're going to put rocks in your piece. Going forward. I guess I'm going to have to mix some, some foam up. I gotta make a reservoir for the foam. And I've got this really wide duct tape that will help me do that. key is to make this reservoir so it doesn't leak foam all over the place. You want to keep it confined to the area that you want the foam to fill. The foam will give me structure and strength for the uh, total armature, but uh, I'm not going to restrict myself to the shape of the foam either. I'm going to carve it after it's hardened. But I just gotta make sure I got no holes in the the area where I'm putting them on to his hand. And I can carve it away. this design is going to work. Foam is cheap, so I'll try it. Found the uh, uh, taxidermy foam. It comes in two parts, uh, A and B mixtures. Ah, I had to go to the store and get some cuts to mix it in and I got some bounty to uh, kind of stop any flow hopefully of any leaks. Anyway, I'm going to put some uh, 
latex gloves on because you don't want to be handling this foam with your bare hands. You get it on your hand, it'll be there for months. I got a box of these uh, latex gloves. They come in handy. All right, I finally got the lid off. It took a little bit of work. Anyway, so I'm going to fill this up about the same level. A little bit more. There we go. This is the one you really want to wipe the uh, liquid off of your cap or off of the... Uh, out because this stuff hardens and uh, when it hardens it's a pain to open up the cap now let's see what I do with the cap oh there it is all right I'm nervous I got a feeling this is gonna fail big time but Gotta try. Get a couple more pieces of paper towels hanging out here. Okay. Now I got a cup that I'm gonna pour the foam into. start mixing it. It turns creamy white almost instantly. When you start feeling it get warm in your hand, it's ready to pour. Well, wish me luck. It's going to take a couple of pours, but uh, it'll work. Now, yep, got a little sprout right there. As it expands, it will uh, start appearing in other places, I'm, think, I'm sure. I know it's, you can't see it, but uh, right now it's probably about an inch below this hand. I don't think I'm, I'm going to pour any more in there. Well, I had far fewer leaks than I thought I was going to have. I mean, only those several areas there, so that's no big problem there. Wow, I'm happy. And I didn't get it on me either. <laughs> I'm going to mix up the last of this so that I can get rid of it. I can't pour it back into the containers, so... Mix it and then put it in a trash can. Can you see it right there? It's already hardened too. Okay. I'm just going to pour a little bit. It's leaking right there. Ooh, it's hot too. Ooh, 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 baby, that's 
On a cold day, this would be feeling real good. You can see it flowing down here. Not a big deal. That piece is still tacky. You don't want to get tacky on your hand because it turns into a real pain on your finger, your skin. Maybe I should put my gloves back on. Taxidermists use this foam when they change the position of the head of a animal they're, they're uh, doing taxidermy work on. Sometimes they have to get it, the uh, animal into a certain position and what they do is they cut it with the taxidermy base is made out of foam and what they do is they uh, cut the uh, foam and then repositioned the uh, head and they have to fill in the areas that were torn apart. <sighs> Now at least now I have a base to put the, the uh, clay on. And I'm not going to throw away these large pieces that I'm cutting off because I can use them as filler under the clay. There. Good. That should be part of the book. do is glue that okay I can take my gloves off now I think that's gonna work I'll bring it out a little bit here what I'm going to do with maybe some foam. Of course, I'm going to be taking, carving this rock here. That's my canned air. Fine. I'll carve all this down here away, but I'm not going to do it. I want to do it today, though. But I gotta, I gotta control my desire to get busy on it. The figure is good and solid. All right, I'll continue this tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take this outside. More. I'm going to let the, that harden up a little bit. Um, it's getting too late and it's cold and rainy outside, so I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do anything. But uh, I'd like to remind you that I do have videos. Uh, DVDs, instructional DVDs on sculpting, and uh, I fill my instructional DVDs with information like 
this, I mean, basically. And uh, the leather secrets that uh, I've gathered and and uh, come up with over the, well, over 50 years of sculpting. And uh, I think it's, if you're thinking about being a sculptor or trying, or even wanting to do it just as a hobby, it's always nice to be able to do something that you, you can do well. And uh, I hope I can pass on to you some of the secrets that I've, little tricks and little shortcuts that I've uh, come up with over the years. So my link uh, to my uh, instructional DVDs is in the descri description below this video. So, all right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and please like and subscribe and click the little bell so that you get updates whenever I do a video. And uh, it helps. I, I'm not making any money off my videos now. YouTube decided that I'm not worthy of making money on my videos <laughs> after they were paying me for the last couple of years. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Probably because I'm not uh, selling makeup and, and stuff like that. All right. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.